Ever wondered how to perfectly steam milk for your coffee? Steaming milk correctly is a vital part of the perfect coffee experience. It all starts with cold milk, ideally under 37 degrees Celsius, as this temperature is optimal for creating that dreamy foam. Getting the milk temperature right is the first crucial step towards a great cup of coffee. Now that we have our cold milk, what's next? Well, positioning the steam wand in the pitcher correctly is crucial. This creates what we call the whirlpool effect, ensuring the milk heats and foams evenly. Remember, the whirlpool isn't just for show. It's an integral part of achieving that perfect foam. Remember, the right amount of foam can make or break your coffee, so be sure to get this step just right. Ready for the final step? It's all about precision here. You want to heat your milk to somewhere between 55 and 65 degrees Celsius. Why? To avoid denaturing of proteins. Once heated, pour it promptly because we don't want our foam and milk separating. And don't forget, cleanliness is next to godliness. Clean that steam wand after use. And there you have it, perfectly steamed milk for your coffee. Remember, practice makes perfect. Happy brewing. So, what have we learned today? Let's recap the five steps to perfectly steam milk. First, we ensure the milk is cold for optimal foam. Then, we position the steam wand to create a whirlpool effect. Next, we create foam at the milk surface, adjusting the time based on our preferred foam style. We then heat the milk below the surface while maintaining the whirlpool for smoothness. Finally, we heat the milk to the right temperature and pour promptly to avoid separation of foam and milk. With these steps, you are now ready to steam milk like a pro. Enjoy your coffee and until next time, stay caffeinated.